Welcome back. Hey, thanks for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate your guys' support. Today, I'm going to be testing out the eco-friendly fire starters from Girl Trade. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Welcome back everybody. So Grill Trade is a company I found off of Amazon that makes awesome fire starters. A fire starter that I haven't seen in this type of form and uh, I wanted to share with you guys. So let's get you guys pointed in the right direction and take a closer look. So what I got set up here is a little demonstration. I, I've got the eco-friendly uh, Grill Trade fire starters here that I wanted to give you guys a close up look at. I got a bowl of water over here to your guys' left and in the back to your right I just got uh, some matches, a lighter, and a fail rod. And we're gonna try all three to get these going um, if the water has soaked them to where we can't get them going with a fail rod. So we're gonna go ahead and try to light it three different methods. We're also gonna uh, soak it in water and see how it handles when it's wet. They do advertise these to be waterproof. If you look on the box, they're waterproof. They last for up to 10 minutes of burn time. You get 50 in a box. They're all natural, odorless, non-toxic, and weatherproof. They're perfect for indoor, outdoor, barbecues, chimneys, fireplaces, or while out camping. And it says it just takes one. I love the way they look. It looks like a little bird's nest and they feel like they're covered in plastic. So I am curious to see how they take, but we're going to go ahead and just dry, uh, we're going to dry light one, see how it works and then uh, progress to another test. I think it's only necessary that we use a ferro rod starting and then we'll go to matches and we'll go to a lighter if uh, we're having problems. So we're just going to go ahead and hit it with a spark and see what happens. There it goes. And it looks like I just needed to melt that, that wax because again these are waterproofed. At least that's what they advertise it as. We're going to test that now. Just going to get this guy going. And whenever starting any fires, you guys make sure you start your fires responsibly and you can contain them. And you don't put nobody at risk or the forest. So we're going to let that guy burn. And as that starts going, we're going to grab just a couple more. We're just going to toss those in the water. Do another one. You got a 10 minute bird time, so you guys can see that. And a lot of fire starters I test that uh, I do with a water test, especially like a submersion like this, if you were to, you know, it's kind of a simulation if you were to fall into a river or get wet, it takes a little more effort to get them started. But uh, we're gonna find out how well they weatherproof these uh, fire starters and, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull one of these guys out. I'm gonna shake her off, try to get off most of that water. And I'm not even going to break it up. I'm just going to leave it in its form. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. This thing's been soaking. You melt some of that wax, and it gets right down to, again, I don't know exactly what they use. They say it's eco-friendly, environmental friendly. You can burn inside, outside, fireplaces, stoves, barbecues. This sucker took right off as soon as a, a good spark found it. I think that's pretty cool. You could definitely hear some sizzling because it's trying to dry off that water. Wow, I did not expect that. And the wind just put her out, so I'm sure just a little spark would get her going again. There it is. Amazing. Again, these are from Grill Trade, found on Amazon. You guys check the link in the video description below, you'll find them. I highly recommend these uh, fire starters. 10 minute bird time. Again, they're all eco-friendly, no harsh chemicals. And clearly, you can submerge them. And with just a little bit of coaxing, they will take right off on you. I think that's pretty cool. We still have this one over here submerged, so we're gonna go ahead and pull that out and try it. Just always make sure you get off as much water as possible. Better your chance of getting it going. All right, again, not going to break it up. Just going to hit it with a, a few sparks. Oh, 
Oh, she's almost there. There she is. Oh, and went out. There she goes. Might take a little a little bit to get it going, but to get a fire starter lit when it's been fully submerged in water with a ferro rod and no magnesium, you know you're working with some good stuff there. Grill trade. I'd highly recommend them. Premium quality guaranteed. I definitely trust this company. I mean, it speaks for itself. So that was a real quick look at the Grill Trade Fire Starters uh, from Amazon. Again, if you check the video description box below, I'll be leaving a link to this. It'll shoot you to Amazon. And by the way, if you use that link, it doesn't charge you guys anything more, but it does help me uh, get a percentage of the sales and it helps the channel grow. So, you know, I really appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the Fire Starters. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the Fire Starters, about how they worked. And as always, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. A lot of people uh, uh, fail to uh, recognize how important that is and how much it helps us creators. So um, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up the video if you liked it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, take care. Bye.